Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick review of the um, Flex Adventures uh, fridge. Um, this is the first camping trip that I've uh, used it on. And yeah, I'm just going to give you a rundown of what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Um, and generally how it's been performing um, over the last couple of days that I've been here. Um, so let me just go and show you what it looks like. Okay, this is the 95 litre. This is the 95 it's the low profile that's why i took it because i needed to fit into the into the trailer and so the normal um maybe national lunars or the other ones do not fit uh, in here well i think some of them do have a low profile but um anyway so i needed something like this now what i do like about it is number one it's got a very very thick insulation if i'll just show you this door i mean it's it's very thick i'm gonna check it out um it's the dual compartment which is really good because you only need to open up one if you're going to get ice you can use this one if you want to get fridge you can do interchangeably if you want uh, what you got here is a control panel and what I've done is I've locked it how do I do that well it's got a Bluetooth well mobile app connected by Bluetooth and what you can do is um, when I normally push this thing in or someone else pushes in you touch these things and it changes the, the settings. So what I've done is um, locked it on the app um, so that, yeah, it never changes. As you can see here, it's, it's quite hot today, but we've got two degrees and we've got minus 15. So what I like about this is that even though it was relatively hot today, it was maybe 24, 25 degrees in the, in the sun. So not too hot, um, but it kept its temperature very good. Uh, um, and the other thing is that it consumed probably about uh, three average of three amps every now and then it turn on turn on and off about three amps and I have a solar panel a 125 watt solar panel with a seven it's a seven amp MPP, MPPT charger and what I was it's quite partly cloudy today as you can see but this morning it had a little bit of drizzle a lot of cloud so overall today, with this fridge running, uh, going in and out, putting cold, uh, sorry, warm things in, my battery has managed to charge up, I have a lithium battery, it's managed to charge up um, to probably from 75% overnight to around 90 odd percent, I haven't checked, uh, even with the fridge running. So it's been very good. I think it, it's well insulated, so it keeps the cold in very well. Okay, so those are the things I like about it. What don't I like about it? Um, I think these handles are a little bit flimsy. I've used it to, as a tire strap here, tie down, but not very strong. Um, so I wouldn't want to tie this down too hard. Um, I'm not sure if you get another clip here, which is a tie down clip that you can actually screw onto. I'm not sure. I think I might have seen something like that. Um, so that's not so cool. Um, what else? Oh, one thing I really don't like is the location of the bottle opener. So because of the angle, what you'll find is that as soon as you put the bottle in, the angle that you have to put it in is quite um, flat. And so the liquid goes towards the neck. And then as you open it, it actually shoots out and it spills. And what we have down here is all the power. So what happens is you've got beer or cider running down the fridge here um, to the electrical connections, which is obviously not ideal. So I think that's a bit of a design flaw. Um, not useful for me at all. I will not be using that. I won't advise anyone to. If you uh, want to keep um, your electrics nice and dry. What else do I like about it or don't I like about it? Um, maybe on the inside, um, perhaps it maybe needs, if you've got this basket here and you want to pick it up, maybe some handles here would be nice just to, to try and grab, just to try and grab it to lift it out. Um, that's some, sometimes to get things at the bottom, obviously there's a, a deeper cavity there. To get things at the bottom is sometimes a little bit difficult. But you can stand up bottles in there quite nicely and um, yeah, you can just close that. 
so yeah maybe something there this side does not have baskets but if i can show you it's monstrous it is huge inside there my ice has remained perfectly solid no melting at all um, just look at the insulation look how thick that is and look at that it's like almost three fingers which is really really good so uh, it's a pretty hard plastic but i think over time but over time yeah i think it's going to get a lot of scuffs and scratches so it's going to start looking a little bit worn i mean this is brand new and it's already got a few scratches here and there so that's you know something to to think about i think you do get a, a cover for it but in my case because the fridge is so big i'm just not going to be able to fit the cover in i mean this is a fridge slide but it's it's a giant fridge slide um i think it's a meter long by 600 or 500 and 540 I think and this fridge you know just 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 fits in um, so yeah so it's, it's a big fridge but I'm absolutely loving it uh, you get the 75 liter the 75 liter would have obviously been a bit smaller but it wouldn't have really been um, much more of a saving in terms of space it's still quite a bulky machine and so I just you know went with the 95 and just just loving all the space and um, and the efficiency of the machine like I said uh, amperage I need to do a proper calculation but I never saw it go beyond five amps um, usually around two and a half maybe three amps 3.5 and it'll cycle on and off it is a little bit noisy but with the ocean in the background and with it inside of the trailer you don't hear anything when you're sleeping or even now I can't hear anything because of the ambient ambient noise so yeah um, I love it it's really good I think the app is a really good touch so you can see exactly what your temperatures are remotely and you can also lock the screen and you can do all the different settings that you want that you would normally do on the front panel you can do on the app um, yeah so that's my quick review of the flex adventures 95 liter Camping fridge freezer. The app, and as you can see, you've got your left temperature and your right temperature, and you've got your eco mode, you've got lock, you've got Celsius Fahrenheit, and obviously you can unpair it. And you can set uh, what you want the uh, battery cutoff to be. So if the battery voltage gets below a certain point, um, you want it to stop to switch off the fridge. However, this is only for lead acid batteries because lithium batteries run at a different voltage um, they run at a more of a constant 13 plus voltage um, so this app is not uh, tailored for for lithium ion batteries so I want I wish the guys would uh, do an update to allow you to select um, lithium or lead acid batteries so but otherwise the app is um, yeah app is perfectly fine just for that setting there because that 12.8 volts is not accurate yeah. the voltage of the of the lithium battery that I have is about 13.12 at the moment I right, hope you enjoyed the video if you like more content like this and you found this helpful then yeah give us a subscribe and maybe a like and comment what, what fridge do you have have you got a 75 if you got any of the other range let me know in the comments all right cheers guys bye bye